Hello and welcome to episode 31 of my Working with Evernote series. In this episode, I want to talk to you about a part of the getting things done process that doesn't get very much notice, doesn't get talked about very much, and actually is one of the most important parts of getting things done and the whole process of how it works. And that is the natural planning method. Now, in the book, David Allen devotes a whole chapter to this natural planning method. And it's a very important part about how we develop the projects that we are working on. Now, let me just, uh, here is a quotation that uh, David Allen actually features in the book, which is, a vision without a task is but a dream. A task without a vision is drudgery. A vision and a task is the hope of the world. And this is a quotation from a, I believe, East Sussex church in the United Kingdom. So we don't know who actually said this quotation. But this is really, really important about how we should be planning our projects. And I just want to run through the five stages of natural planning. So the first stage is define purpose. And what is the project for? Why are we actually doing the project? This is a why. Um, the second is vision outcomes. This is what will a successfully completed project look like? So that's how, what will the outcome be once we have successfully completed the project? The third part is brainstorming and this is where Evernote is so, so powerful. And this is what I want to show you today. The fourth part is organizing. So organizing the various parts after your brainstorming and deciding what is important, what would be useful, what you don't need and so on. And the fifth part is identifying the next actions which are associated after your brainstorming and organizing. And in the next episode of my Working With To Do Is series, I'll show you what we can do with the next actions after we've done the brainstorming. But what I want to do in this episode is show you how you can use Evernote to actually do the whole natural planning process. So let's go into Evernote and have a look and see how we can do this method, the natural planning method, in Evernote. So here we are in Evernote and here is a note that I created uh, before we started this recording so that you can get an idea of how you can use Evernote to essentially organize your project. Now in this particular project I've got here as a title time to get organized. So if you like this is the purpose of my uh, project. So if we go into this you can see here um, define purpose. So in this particular example, I've got the define purpose is time to get organized or get myself organized. Um, the next part, what I would do in here if I was actually creating this is uh, I would actually create the purpose of the project. So you could actually type up here purpose um, and bold it. <coughs> um, so to have a fully organized and structured life style, for example. So what I'm going to think of is this is my um, purpose um, and actually this would also be my vision. So you could then type in your vision uh, of what uh, vision of what your end of this project would look like. Um, so you could now type in here. Um, so uh, let's just think um, being able to work and live in a whoa, 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 in a very relaxed state, knowing all my commitments are in control. Okay, that's just a quick one there to write for the example of this. So then, what we have here now is I have. Um, I use bullet points for this because in Evernote you can actually create parent child. So let's have a look at what I've created here. I've got read getting things done by David Allen. A must do, I would say to everybody. What areas have completely disorganized in my life? Must get my calendar up to date. 
filing needs doing. My email inbox is a complete mess, over 5,000 emails in there. Oh my God. Okay, so let's go back, read getting things done. What can I, if I was looking at this, I can now create a parent child just by clicking uh, return and then tab. Um, so where can I get the book? Um, is there a Kindle? Don't know why I keep doing that. Where is there a Kindle version? Um, have a look on Amazon. Now, here, what I would might do is I might actually just put the Amazon link into. Um, so you could actually just do www. Uh, Amazon.com so you could just create something like that just to help you let's go on to the next one what areas are completely disorganized in my life well <laughs> well that could be uh, home it's a mess you know you can have so much fun with this uh, when you're creating this it's just allow your brain just to empty um, desk at work is completely out of control you know you can write anything you want in there must get my calendar up to date filing needs doing uh, check home you know I can create all sorts of things here um, should I click should I declare uh, email bankruptcy see so there's a lot of things you can do when you're brainstorming and for me this is my favorite way of brainstorming which is just creating uh, bullet points and and parent point uh, bullets just so that uh, I can just empty my head I have tried brainstorming software like mind node in fact I do have mind node I do occasionally keep coming back to mind node but uh, it, it's not something that I feel comfortable with I'm always wanting to make it look pretty doing it this way which is what I do in Evernote is uh, this allows me to actually just empty my head. It's just the way my brain works. But just keep in mind that your brain may prefer brainstorming um, on a piece of paper with a pencil, which is absolutely fine. Remember, if you're an Evernote user, you can just use your phone or your tablet to take a picture of your uh, brainstorming and then you can move on to the next stage. Now, if you look at the next stage, we've done the brainstorming. Organizing, we'll be having a look at that. You can then click delete and and add things as a final bit but what I do is for next actions and now next actions is really really cool because again because of Evernote's ability we have the checkpoint here so I can now add into next actions um, by um, getting things done uh, from Amazon um, I can also um, uh, create I could also add a do a soft email bankruptcy. Anything I, I mean, from, from basically this is just, again, I can't spell st C, thank you. Um, so this is how I would do my project planning brainstorm. And I don't want this email, uh, this particular video to go on forever and ever and ever, but you can see what, how you can actually use um, the power of Evernote to actually do project planning through the natural planning method that you get in getting things done so if you look at what I've got here is an incubator folder and what I would do is I would actually move this project planning into my incubator folder and allow this to develop over a few days I wouldn't I find that trying to do it all in one moment if I went to a coffee shop and sat down for an hour yeah I could get probably about 75% of this done but I would still leave it one or two more days just to allow other ideas to percolate to the top of my head and then I can just add them when I'm on the run it's just the way my brain works your brain may work a little bit different anyway that's what I, to sh what I wanted to show you today is how you can use the power of Evernote to do the natural project planning and as I say if we go into um, this particular slide that I had created you've got defined purpose there's no problem there with Evernote vision outcomes well you can actually put 
the vision in there, no problem. Brainstorming, great place, particularly using the bullets, uh, organizing and identifying next actions. Now, what I'm going to do in the next episode, I'm going to show you how we can take the next actions from this project planning directly into Todoist, and then we can move on from there. Okay, I hope you found this useful. Uh, please join me again in the next episode. And for the rest of it, I just wish you all a very, very productive week.